David Erickson, and you're visiting my YouTube channel, Pilates for Skiers. Check out my book, Pilates for Skiers, on Amazon.com. And today we're going to be doing an upper and core body workout. Um, the only props that you're going to need, if you have them, are your gliders and your BOSU ball. So we're actually going to start with a few standing warm-ups. We're going to be doing arm swings, arm circles, our shoulder stretch, our tricep stretch. And then we come into the floor some of our Pilates mat work, um, and then we're going to be doing a little bit of just um, like strengthening um, using your own body weight, and then we'll use the gliders, and then we'll use the bosu ball. So go ahead and come to standing, and you're going to just start with some arm swings. So we're going to crisscross the arms in front of our body with a straight arm. And then you're going to continue to do the same thing, but bend the elbows and crisscross, alternating one over the top of the other, just kind of getting the blood flow into the arms. So, and then go ahead and do front stroke. And your back stroke, and your back stroke, reach way behind you, looking over your shoulder, adding rotation, Reach with the pinky finger behind you. Good. And then you're going to go ahead and do a shoulder stretch. So you're going to go ahead and pull your shoulder into your body. And take that same arm behind your head and pull, opening up in your tricep stretch. And then take the other arm across the front. These are typical um, arm warm-ups that I'll do before um, strength training or Pilates or after um, doing any time, before you're warming up for your golf or your volleyball or swimming. And then go ahead and release, shake it out. Looks like we have a visitor, hi Sky, coming right in. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and move down to the floor. We're going to start with our 100. Uh, on your back, and you're going to bring your legs to the tabletop, and you're going to reach your arms down long by your side, and begin to puff the arms, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, and exhale. And roll it back 
Yep. There we go. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our um, series of five. So stay down here on your back. Bring your left knee into your chest, your right leg out long. Reach in the opposite hand to the knee. We're going to go ahead and start to alternate. And stay lifted from the head and the shoulders. And we'll switch it to double, so two knees, arms and legs go in opposite directions. Exhale, inhale. And we'll do a single leg pull two times, one leg up, one leg out. So pull, 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 pull. Pull, pull, pull. Go ahead and take your hands behind your head for our lift and lower. <coughs> Using the hands behind your head for support, we're going to go straight into our twist, reaching the opposite shoulder to the knee. The other leg is going to go out long and low over the floor. And last one here. And come on down. Stretch it out one more time. <coughs> okay. So next we're going to go ahead and we're going to do our um, open leg rocker. So come to seated. Okay. So let's go ahead and warm up with a little rolling like a ball before we start open leg rocker. So bring your knees in towards your chest. And open your elbows wide, balance on your sits bones, pointing your toes downward, and we're going to roll it back. And then you're going to come up and balance on your sits bones. Don't allow yourself to roll back until you've got this nice controlled position at the top here. One more. And we'll switch it to our open leg rocker. So go ahead and reach and reach one leg. Now, if you can't reach up high, you can just go ahead and come to here. But we're going to go ahead and try from here. You're going to roll it back and use your abdominals to lift yourself back up. Here we go. And it's actually kind of fun. If you have kids, this is a fun thing to try to do with your kids. Let's do one more. And apparently, the dog likes it too. Hi. Okay. So that is your open leg rocker. Next, we're going to come to our bridging progression. So lay back down on your back. Hands by your side. Feet are parallel. Not too far away from your glutes. You're going to take your inhale. And on your exhale, let's lift our hips up. And then articulate as you roll your spine down. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lower it back down. Try that again. This is a great exercise to do if you have a tight lower back, just to get a little movement um, in your spine. Let's do two more. And one more here. And roll there. Good. Okay. We're going to come into our swimming position. So you're going to line your stomach. And you're going to bring your arms out in front of you and your legs out behind you. And we're going to lift the arms, the legs, and the chest at the same time. What you don't want to do is you don't want to tilt your head back and get like that taco neck. So we're going to lift everything up, and you're going to start to slowly paddle opposite hand and leg. And then you can go a little faster, and then you can switch in. Switch, switch, switch. 20 count. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and go into your child's pose. So every time you do any kind of extension work, 
was good to go into a child's pose after you did that. Sure. Next is just going to be your basic plank. So you can either come into your hands in this plank or you can come onto your forearms. I'm going to start with my hands because we're going to go straight from our plank to our leg full front. So I'm going to show you both of those while we're in this position. So start with your plank, lining your hands up under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, and then when you're ready, you're going to step your feet out and lift. Okay? Now if you want to do this to your Pilates style, you can bring the feet into a Pilates V, squeeze your inner thighs and your glutes. Okay? And the reason I like that is this is going to set you up for your leg full front. So keeping that brings the feet closer together, so they're more in the center of your body. You're going to pick up your right leg, and then you're going to heel toe that left foot. So I'm trying, I don't know if I'm doing it, to keep in my plank while I do this. And then we'll switch and do the other side. And then down. And you can child pose again from there. So on that plank, you can hold it anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute to two minutes, whatever you want. That counts to do for yourself. Next, we're going to go ahead and do a push-up. So in Pilates, in classic Pilates, we've got um, Joseph Pilates had us doing five push-ups. So I'm going to only do a couple regular because of my shoulder, and then I'll just do the modified. So you do what works for you. You're trying to come pretty low to the ground so that your chest touches the ground. So get your same setup that you have for your plank. And then when you're ready, you're going to bend your arms. And you're going to come down slow. And then come up slow. Okay. And then if you need to, you can put your knees down. And you can do the same thing here in your modified version. It's just going to take a little less pressure off of your shoulders. Okay, You can do, again, how many of those that you want to do and come back to your child pose. Good. Okay. Next is our bird dog. We're still down here. Might as well stay here. Hands line up under your shoulders. Knees line up under my hips. Keep that spine in a neutral position drawn into your abdominals. Reach your right arm out and your left leg. And we're going to bend the elbow and the knee and stay. I'm not going to twist or rotate here. I'm just drawing in straight. And inhaling. And exhaling. In opposite directions with the hand and the foot. Let's try for ten. And then we'll switch. And we'll do the same on the other side. I, I always do these. I like them um, because it's basically a plank, but you're going to add just a little bit of stretching to it. So you're going to come up, and you're going to reach your arms overhead. You're going to roll, do a roll down to your feet. This is the hamstring part I was telling you about. Walk your hands up to your plank. Hold your plank. Walk your hands back to your feet, but try to keep your legs straight. And now we're not going to come all the way up on the in between ones, just on the first and the last one. And then back to your plank. Get that solid plank. And walk it back in. Get that hamstring stretched. Let's do a couple more. This is a nice kind of transitional one to do after your planking. And let's do one more. And on the next one, we're going to walk it all the way in and we'll do our roll up. So we'll come up and scoop the abs in. We're each going to slide. Inhale and exhale. All the way down. Very good. Come back down to the floor. And we're going to come into a side plank now. Okay. So again, like today, we're doing all different variations of a lot of different mat work. Planking. So far, all we've used is our body weight. Okay. So I'm going to show you three or several variations.
variations of the side plank, starting from the easier. So you're going to line your elbow up under your shoulder. I'm not going to be on my hand for any of these. I'm going to be down on the forearm. All you're going to do with the easiest one is bend your knees and put your feet behind you and lift your hips and toes. Okay? Your next variation is going to be to keep the bottom knee bent and the top leg straight. And then lift and hold. Alright, and then you're going to move to two legs straight, top foot in front, back foot behind you, lift. And then your last variation is to keep that position, but to lift and reach the arm out in the star position. Okay? So you'll go ahead and you're going to do whichever variation you want on both sides. You should be doing these once or twice a week. It's really going to help strengthen your obliques and your shoulders. Okay? And so my goal is I'm trying to get to one minute and do that between one and two times a week. Sometimes it's a nobody's favorite exercise, but I'll force myself to do these with my clients just so that I get them done. Okay? All right, we're going to come back to our stomach again for Superman. So lay on your stomach just like you did for swimming. But this time, instead of paddling opposite arm and leg, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to lift the arms and the legs and the chest at the same time. And again, try not to tilt your head back. You want to keep this out of the lower back and the neck. So in order to avoid that, first of all, you should be squeezing your glutes when you do this and drawing into your abdominals. And secondly, if you feel pain in your lower back, I just don't want you to lift up as high. Just go up a little bit. You're still going to get all of the benefits of that Superman. And then you can do your child's pose. Okay, we're going to do one more line on our back um, abdominal exercise here. So this is our frog. So come on your back with your hands behind your head. Keep your head lifted. Bring your legs to the table top, but heels together, toes apart for your frog. You're going to bend your knees like a frog, and then you're going to extend and push your legs away from you. And you're going to add a breath here, whatever breath. Just an exhale in or an exhale out, it doesn't really matter. And do 10 of these. Um, with the glider. So a lot of these exercises are going to seem familiar to you. What I'm doing is I'm mixing the exercises up in the book to create these workouts for you. So like today I'm focused mostly on upper body and core, but you can do whatever combinations of the exercises you want. And all of the exercises with pictures are in my book, Pilates for Skiers. So, and also all of these sample workouts are also in the back of my book. So this is just your mountain climber. Feet are on the gliders. You can also do this without your gliders. And you're just going to get into a plank setup. And you're going to bend one knee into the chest and then the other. And you're going to go ahead and do this between 30 seconds and a minute. Or you can do 30 on each leg um, or 50 on each leg for a total of 100. And then last is your jackrabbit. Same setup. Both knees into your chest. And then out in your plank. Try to keep this from dumping in to your lower back. Okay? So, if you don't have gliders, what you can do is for the jackrabbit, you can just come to your plank. And you can bend both knees down and up. And that's also pretty challenging. We're going to finish on the BOTU with plank variations. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the BOTU on the belly side down, hands on either side of the wide grip, and we're going to put them to a plank. We're going to do the plank first, get that solid and strong. We're going to do the leg pull front just like we did on the floor. We're going to tilt both to north and south, east and west, and then we're going to hold the both two around each direction. So those are going to be your planking variations on the both two ball. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with our plank. Lift the hips and the knees and hold your plank. Good. Next, we're going to do that leg pull. Center one foot, bring the other leg up, and 
one. You do your other side. Got our special sound effects brought to you today by Sky. 